Hey guys, so last night I watched Best Friends starring Tommy Wiseau and Greg Sestero. There will be spoilers in this review, so if you have not seen the film yet, and there's a good chance of that since uh, I saw an advanced screening and it was an unfinished cut of the film, and you don't want it spoiled for you, I suggest you stop now and maybe come back later when you have seen the film, but uh, I'm going to try and keep it pretty vague, I'm not going to be telling where certain plot points or moments actually fit within the film, because I think the surprise will be a big part of that. But uh, Greg Sestero plays a homeless man who, uh, in the opening scenes of the film, can be seen wandering and living below bridges in uh, Los Angeles. Tommy Wiseau plays a mortician who takes pity on him and offers him a job. It seems to be going pretty well so far. But then Greg Sestero's character notices that this mortician has been collecting gold teeth. He's also a bit of a weirdo. Tommy Wiseau's character likes to create face masks for the dead. Uh, for anyone who died in like a grisly accident and had like a long slice along their face, Tommy Wiseau seems to be wanting to give them the face of celebrities. He mentions that he gives them the faces of James Dean or Marlon Brando sometimes. And that the families weren't always too happy about it, but it was preferable to seeing someone with just like a giant hole in their forehead. So it was interesting. He's collecting gold teeth, and a, like Greg Sestero finds out that Tommy Wiseau's essentially got like four or five like giant crates just full of gold teeth, like an insane amount, like almost like he would have to be a serial killer to get that many. But I guess as a mortician, he pulls them from the dead, as he says. But there is still something a little bit suspicious about that character that I'll uh, look forward to seeing in the sequel. Uh, so Greg Sestero's character steals a bag of gold teeth, finds out exactly how much they're actually worth, and goes into business with Tommy Wiseau's character. Then Tommy Wiseau says, I'm going to keep the money here, safe in the safe. Neither of us will touch it until all the deal's done, and we know that this is safe, and we know the cops aren't looking for us, because this is... Vaguely illegal. But then Tommy Wiseau's character buys himself a new car and starts talking to another man and gives away $300,000 of it. This angers Greg Sestero and his new, definitely gold grabbing girlfriend. They drive him off to a cliff. Well, they, they drive him off to a fake concert so that they can confront him about this. In the event, Tommy Wiseau's character slips and accidentally falls. And this is where the movie gets really messed up. Because you don't know if he actually did fall. Because he seems to be back. It's it's honestly... Uh, the end of the movie is a completely... You can't describe it because it's so just messed up. Like, there's a shot of a cowboy standing on a rock at one point during the end of the movie. And it's just like, it's just he just looks like the Marlboro Man. And he's just literally just there, standing in the sunset, wearing his nice big cowboy hat, just looking off into the distance, all serious. And then he looks, and it's like, okay, what does that mean? There's also some, some really easy symbolism, like Homeless Greg Sestero has a bunch of lemons... At the beginning of the movie and then the end of the movie. And I guess it's life giving him lemons, you know. Now, it's difficult, really, to give this movie a score out of ten, as I do with usual movies. So instead I'm going to give it four. Oh, hi, Tommy. Out of five. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to tune in again. Take care.